All right, so now that we have grouped by and created some summary statistics um, separately for each beach, it would be interesting to look at whether there were differences in the council that looks after each beach. So let's compare, practice, let's practice what we've just learned by comparing councils. Now, sometimes when you have a big data set, if we look at African Beaches data, I think on the top we've got lots of Ramwick Council, but I'm pretty sure there's Waverley Council in there somewhere as well. Um, let's check. So you can check the distinct or unique values that are in a particular data set using the distinct function. So if we take our clean, um, we take our clean beaches data, and if we pipe it into the distinct function, and we want to look at distinct values in the council column, it'll give us, ah uh, yes, so we have some beaches that are looked after by Ramwick Council and others that are looked after by Waverley Council. So let's compare some summary statistics for Ramwick versus Waverley. So we'll take our clean beaches data, we'll pipe it into a group by, this time instead of grouping by site, we're going to group by council. And then let's look just summarize. Um, let's just look at mean versus median. Any mean bugs? Um, equals the mean of the beach bugs column. Remembering to tell it to remove. So na.rm means remove the NAs is true. And then look at median too. All right. All right. So See when it's averaging across beaches now and just looking at those that are looked after by Ramwick Council and Waverley Council and you can see that um, on average Ramwick beaches uh, have more bugs than Waverley beaches. Now it would be interesting to know which beaches go into Ramwick and which beaches go into Waverley and you can do that by having it group by more than one thing. So here it is um, averaging across all the beaches and telling us that Ramwick is worse than Waverley. But what would happen if we added here, we want it to group by council and site and give us those summary statistics. Let's try that. Uh -huh. Okay, so now you can see that it has given us um, separately each beach and, but also telling us which council it belongs to. That's interesting. So I wonder, this is an empirical question, I wonder if the order of those things matter. So I asked it to group by council and then site. What would happen if I had it group by site and then council? Let's try that. Oh, I think the data is the same. I think it's just the order that the columns are given to us, right? So actually, I like it the other way around because it puts all the Randwick Council on the top and all the way down the bottom, presumably because R is earlier in the alphabet than W. So let's make it go the other way around again. So we'll go Council first and then site. Awesome. All right. So. When you're doing summaries like this, um, it's interesting to see them in your console, but sometimes you might want to keep that data for a plot later on, right? So as we did earlier, you can create a new data frame in your environment by simply going council, we'll call this new thing council by site, and we'll assign the output of this group by summarize to a new object in our environment called Council by Site. If we run that, it makes a new thing over here. And we can look at that now. That is the summary statistics 
um, for each beach, noting which council it is under. All right, so I hope that gives you a good idea of how you can um, leverage the combination of group by and summarize to get some really interesting um, broken down by certain variables in your data summary statistics. Um, this combination group by summarize is going to be really useful when we come for plotting because, um, because the tidyverse all the packages in the tidyverse are pipe compatible. What we'll end up doing is this kind of thing where we say, take our clean beaches, group it by council and site, summarize these things, and then we're going to pipe and we'll go to ggplot and we'll um, add a plot of these summary statistics. So we've got a couple of steps before we get there. Stay tuned.